hello everybody it's your girl down to the tarot it, it is thursday and it's thunderstorming outside so good morning and for those who work early like i do please wear your raincoats and have your umbrella okay so anywho please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so you can become notified for when i go live when i upload and also yeah make sure you subscribe and like like this Channel, like all my videos, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, tell me how you like the reading and the third if you got an opinion about it, leave it. Okay? So everything I do here is for entertainment purposes and it's all alleged until modern science can prove for the mathematical equation that it isn't. Right? So anywho, you know that I do celebrity readings, the car readings, these type of readings. And this is the joy you guys in and new potential clients and I have clients already. I'm so happy about that. I'm so blessed with that because I like helping other people. So if you would like to be a client and you would like to book a personal reading, it's private. All you gotta do is look at look at the information in the description box and yeah, book one. So this morning going to work, I was listening to an episode on Fox Soul on YouTube. Um, and you know they have something called TGIF, and this was Claudia Jordan, Al Funky Dineva, and pretty much they had Lemmy, Lemmy, whatever on it, you know the CEO of Zeus, right? So basically, he wanted to come on there because he was going to do an interview anyway, I feel like, with Claudia Jordan, because Claudia Jordan had hosted uh, a reunion show on Zeus before, and basically, you know, Funky Naniva, he feels like says some of his first things about him saying that his network was trash, right? Ooh, let me get it right. There we go. He was saying that the network is trash. So, basically, you know what I'm saying, he gets into this conversation, right? And initially, he's like, he's not mad at all. And, you know, they replayed the, what Funky Dineva said. And basically, he's like, he's not mad. He was just a little irritated and vexed. So, basically, he, and he said he don't feel a way. But he kept saying he don't feel a way about it. But he said he was irritated and vexed. And he sounded defensive about everything from start to finish. And don't get me wrong, of course, you should take up for your network that's your brainchild that's your baby so eat and I'm not gonna lie you know so when I talk about what I do I'm gonna take up for what I do you know what I'm saying that's my baby that's my father that's what I like to do so that's what he like to do so of course he's gonna try to take up for it so anywho but you know he's not really answering questions he's trying to overcome and then, you know, he came in and he started talking about, you know, I'm a black man. I'm a 35-year-old black man who owns my own network that's given opportunities to other people of color. And, you know, y'all don't talk about Viacom, VH1 like this. And, you know, after a while, people were talking about VH1 like that, to be honest. There was folks saying that VH1 produces negative content or show black people in a negative light. I remember that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he started, you know, a little bit of semantic stuff, too. Like, he started talking about how um, he gave all these people opportunities and he's not forcing people to do stuff. And um, basically, if you're going to, uh, are you calling the viewers trash? They're intellectual and his, and his work is subjective. And he's not showing nobody in a bad light. And, you know, he's taking up, basically, and defending himself and being defensive as well. Um, it was a bit defensive. It wasn't a fluent conversation. It was tension in it. But he also said that Jocelyn Cabaret, no one, um, about this lawsuit, he said no one contacted him with, with, um, with any legal notices or anything like that. And I want to ask about that because why are you so, def it's like you're defending everything right but i want to know about that and then i'm gonna i'm gonna ask a couple other things about them okay so we're gonna figure out 
Because why would they make a statement saying that they're suing Zeus and Jocelyn and Ballistic? So is let me tell him the truth about saying he has not received the network or whatever the company has not received any legal notice. So stuff wants to come out. Ooh, you know what's going to come out? Betrayal. I think I think he's lying. Uh, has is really lying about this not receiving any legal notices. You have the five of cups in the reverse. There was a disappointment in the past. Matter of fact, he also had the three of swords that wanted to come out. But the five of cups in the reverse is saying that something happened in the past. Of the so that's it. We have that. The back of this is the wheel of fortune in the reverse. He's lying. The moon card upright talks about things being revealed. Okay. Things are coming to the light. In the world card in the reverse, Zeus Network is what? The world is getting turned upside down. You can say that. You can say um, they want to they want to go into a new cycle, but they have to they have to tweak some things in order to do that. People are looking at them crazy. Things like that. They're having negative press right now. And the temperance is in the reverse. This is people being a little hedonistic. This is unbalanced, okay? So, imbalance talks about um, needing to temper oneself, needing to um, be a team player, you know what I'm saying? Needing to heal. But it's in the reverse, so it talks about um, not healing, doing a lot of hedonistic stuff, like doing a lot of self-centered stuff. And you're not really thinking about anybody else but yourself. So, if I am saying that he received a legal notice, it talks about he received something, okay? Especially with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And then in the back of this Wheel of Fortune is the, is the hangman in the reverse. It's a stubbornness, right? The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is, ooh. I think whoever this Queen of Wands is definitely did it. Because when I think about the Queen of Wands, I think about a strong woman. You know what I'm saying? That's a go-getter who is into their craft, who's all about their who's all about their business. You know what I'm saying? That can tell you about certain things. I feel like the Queen of Wands could be a lawyer. A female lawyer. The two of swords is being on the fence. So the problem is they're on the they're on the fence. They don't know which way to go so they're stuck in the middle they're not going to say here you go so they don't know what to make of it yet to make of the situation with this queen of wands yet or whatever and the hierophant is in the reverse okay so this is inappropriate right but if it's in the court they're wrong they can be held liable so is he lying about being served anything yes He's lying about being served something. Okay? I'm letting y'all know that. He's not keeping it all the way 100 with that situation. Okay? So let's keep moving. What was his energy during that video? During that, you know, mini interview? Because the way I perceived it, I perceived it as him being defensive. But what was his energy? Did he really come to have a conversation? Did, let me come, did, let me come on the um, platform TGIF on Fox so to actually have an open, fluid conversation. One, two, three, four, five. You got the King of Wands in the reverse. No, he did not. He came very defensive, okay? <laughs> he did not want to open fluid conversation with nobody. Okay, the the king of wands in the reverse could be stubborn, arrogant, has an ego. Um, they don't know when to back down. They don't know when to shut up. Um, they're defensive. They want to fight. Okay. Also, the king of wands talks about somebody 
who can feel like they don't have control. Okay? And they don't like feeling like that. The will of fortune is in the reverse. Again, he gets that in the reverse. This is things happening that is bad. Okay? And five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. Poverty state of mind. Feeling bruised. Okay, feeling hurt. You know what I'm saying? In the sun card, it's a shed light. It's about me. It's abundance, quick abundance. So he went on there, of course, to shed light. You know what I'm saying? But it's also about him because I don't really like this King of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> okay, so things was going bad for him. He felt like they were trying to kick Zeus to the wayside or call him out or hold him accountable in some way. He ain't like that. So that's why he went on the show. It was never about having an open conversation. In the Eight of, of Swords, I'm going to tell you right now, that's in the back, he was not open to receive an open conversation, to receive constructive criticism or criticism at that period. That's why he actually went on there. So um, to be honest with you, the Eight of Swords talks about when, and you only want to see what you want to see okay you're not looking at the bigger picture you're you're stuck in your own head and how you think and it's all about how you think so that's why he was so defensive he's not really he's not really saying anything whatever so <laughs> let's see about what else about him what else can i ask um then we're gonna ask this how does he feel about funky Doniva? He probably hates him, okay? He probably did not like what he said. That's why Funky Doniva was like, I heard you want to fight me. <laughs> he probably hates him and what he said on the low. Talk about so he vexed. You more than vexed. Well, to third. He feels like Funky Dineva is the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So you don't need to say anything to me. This is usually somebody who is independent, got their own, a boss like him. And he feel like you're not a boss like Lemmy. So what is you talking about? How dare you? <laughs> you need to be like me, okay? The King of Wands again. The King of Wands again. He feel like Funky Dineva is arrogant, but he's arrogant. <laughs> he feels like... Funky Dineva don't know what to say out his mouth. He feel like he do want to fight Funky Dineva, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, he do. <laughs> um, The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Funky Dineva, he also feel like Funky Dineva, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is like, first of all, this is supposed to be the peak of stability, security, and wealth. First of all, it's in the reverse. So that means that... um. You're not stable. It's, it's not. It's, it's, you're not like I said. Money. You're not making money like me. That's that's for one. For two, this talks about not being happy or what he did or what he's saying or what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But this is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. A loss. Of, a loss of stability, security, and wealth. You're not at the peak of stability, security, and wealth like me. You know he led with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So that lets me know that he feels like. Funky Dineva is a bum bitch. Okay? I'm trying to tell you. In the tower, in the reverse. Okay, so he said something about his establishment. With this Ten of Pentacles, okay, in the reverse as well. He kind of feel like this is... The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse talks about... Um, upright, it talks about legacy. It talks about... Um, what is that? What is that? What is that word? when you have family generational wealth okay and it's in the reverse he's messing up his legacy he feels like funky Dineva is doing that by what he said with this tower moment in the reverse okay and he feels like well he needs to rebuild or whatever or like they need to and then it's like oh have is that hard too so it's like he needs to reestablish his brand Funky Dineva needs to reestablish his brand and also he needs to stop with with certain habits of what he does and what he says because it's fucking up my legacy like shit like that like he did not like Funky Dineva it's he look judgment <laughs> he's done with Funky <laughs> So 
So, let's see. Does he feel like how does he really feel about his shows on Zeus Network? Because he was so defensive about them. He don't want you saying anything bad about them. And he's saying that none of his shows show, are trash. And they show stuff in the positive light. And it's all subjective. So, let's see. How does he really feel about his shows? Let's talk about Jocelyn Cabaret. How does he really feel about Jocelyn Cabaret? Well. Uh, Two, three, four, five. How do you think he really feels about Johnson's cavalry? The Nine of Pentacles again. Ooh, I think I need to reshuffle these again. Real good. Hold on. How does he feel about... Because I was about to get the same cards, y'all. I don't think I reshuffled them good. Let's see. How does he really feel about Johnson's cavalry? Yep, I don't mind to tell y'all that, okay? How does he really feel about Jocelyn's cabaret? How does Lemmy really feel about Jocelyn's cabaret? Does he feel like it is a, a non-trash show? Because he said it's not trash. How does he really feel about Jocelyn's cabaret? One, two, three. The eight of wands in the reverse. People wasn't working together and it went downhill real fast, okay? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? This is somebody who's unreliable, unstable. Someone's supposed to come with a solid, stable offer. And when they got here, it, it wasn't what it's supposed to be. The Death Card Transformation wanted to transition from that show. And the Nine of Cups, this talks about a wish fulfillment. Okay, so... I don't feel like he really feels like Jocelyn. First of all, he does feel like Jocelyn's cabaret is trash. Okay? I mean, he feel like it went downhill. All right? But it also helped him get those ratings and stuff like that and transition him to what he wanted. Okay? So he wanted the attention to his network. He wanted these things to send a third. So he got it. Boom. So that's how he feels about it. But does he know that it became a shit show yes okay does he really okay is he afraid of being sued that's what i want to know is he afraid of a lawsuit because he was kind of defensive because he knows <laughs> so is he afraid he they don't know what to do about it for real for real is he afraid of, of a lawsuit One, two, three. The Ten of Swords is upright. He feels betrayed, out of betrayal. Okay? The Ten of Swords. <laughs> Needed to walk away, but don't, because you find value in it. Okay? Wanting to walk away, but you don't do that because you find value in what you're doing. And the King of Wands, this is somebody who's a go-getter. He's up right now. So he's like, you know what? I know what I'm doing. I know what direction I want to take this. I am confident in what I'm doing. Because this is all about action, enterprise, relationships, creativity. He's in his creative bag. He feels like he's running these things. This talks about travel. This talks about working together for rapid change. Okay? So he feels like he could turn this around. But is he afraid? He has the nine of swords in the back in his energy. So that means he's up at night thinking about it. He's worried about it. But he wants to turn it around, change the narrative, work on new projects. He's trying to push out stuff. He could walk away, but he finds value in the projects that he does. So no, he's afraid. He's worried about it, but he's going to keep pushing forward. Um, In the way, you should. That's your baby. That's how you make your money. Push forward. You know what I'm saying? So... Let's see. So, when he wants to keep saying, oh, well, you feel like my viewers are this? Is he trying to turn the narrative and just try to say that people are talking mess about? Because, I mean, I guess he doesn't like public opinion. Because, to be honest with you, 
that's who's judging him, the public, right? Public opinion. We already talked about public opinion. And it's ways. All he got to do is come out with a bomb-ass show, and then all of a sudden it's, oh, Zeus, you know, whatever. Let's see. Does he use, of course he uses, I'm a 35-year-old black entrepreneur with his own network and stuff like that. I'm a CEO. He uses that as his advantage. But is he using that as a narrative for sympathy and for people to praise him? Is he really using that for that? Because it kind of feels like that. Because, I mean, it's obvious. You are th you're, you're speaking the obvious. You are a CEO of a network. You are 35 and it's obvious that you're a black man. So, why he keeps speaking the obvious, right? Why does he keep saying the obvious? One, two, three, four. You got the seven of pentacles taking stock. The seven of pentacles taking stock of the situation. He wants you to take stock or he's taking stock of everything he put in or he wants other people to take stock in everything that he put in. Reevaluating. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse talks about losing money or having to let certain things go or even being selfish, right? And the High Priest is in the reverse. This is not using your own intuition, blocking one's own intuition, or not believing in one's own intuition, okay? Um, you know, to be honest with you, I think he does it as a reassurance to himself. Because I think that he needs encouragement sometimes. And that's cool to encourage yourself. You know what I'm saying? Big up yourself. So I think that that's what he's doing for himself. It's not for nobody else. It's really self-talk. Self-motivation. It's not, it's not for nobody else but himself. Okay? <laughs> um, you got the Nine of Pentacles in the in the upright in the back I think it's for him because the nine of pentacles talks about being independent stability security and well doing your own thing you singly doing your own thing and it's working you are that entrepreneur so I believe that he should believe in himself a little bit more I mean because sometimes he have down days everybody has bad days you know but yeah so what is coming out for this what's coming up for Zeus are we going to hear anything else in the press about Zeus Network? There's some, it's some other stuff coming for Zeus. One, two, three, four, five. Down the pipeline, is anything else coming? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I think the same card shows up, right? So, I'm going to think I need to go ahead and keep going to this shuffle. Ooh, I'm, when I get home, I think I'm going to cleanse this deck, too. Because I be in here rolling. What else is coming up for Zeus? Uh, two. I need to recharge my deck after this week. One. Two. What else is coming up for Zeus? more opportunities. There's another opportunity for Zeus. Look at that Ace of Pentacles. It's like a door. A door is opening up for a new opportunity. You know, for a new bag, a new coin. There's something coming up for Zeus. The Two of Wands. The Two of Wands talks about creativity, enterprise, relationships, actions. You know what I'm saying? Having a choice to make. What do you want to do? Move and things like that. So a creative pursuit waiting on this new opportunity so i think there's some new stuff this is um working okay so i feel like there's some more new stuff coming down the pipeline you see this moon card so in a few weeks or so i feel like it's going to be something um a new what is that what is that what is that when you work with other people and stuff like that damn 